Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big is you with another video, man. No media. Notification game. God squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Oscar Valdez, let me tell you something. You don't got shit for Shakur Stevenson. You don't have nothing for him. Miguel Burchett has more to offer Shakur Stevenson than you. Miguel Burchett has more that he could bring to the table. He has more of a chance, in my opinion, to beat Shakur Stevenson than you, Oscar. Let me tell you why. Shout out to my boy Mark of Unrival Box Talking News. We had a debate, not really a debate, just kind of a boxing discussion back and forth. Uh, a few days ago on uh, D. Jefferson Speaking Mind Sports Talk channel. Shout out to D. Jefferson Speaking Mind Sports Talk. If you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe to both of those channels. Unrivaled Boxes Talking News and D. Jefferson Speaking Mind Sports Talk if you have not subscribed. But I was on D. Jefferson's live stream a few days ago. And me and uh, Mark was talking about Miguel Burchette versus um, Shakur Stevenson. And how Miguel Burchette does have the skill set and can actually beat Shakur Stevenson. My argument was I felt that Shakur Stevenson was going to basically beat him with his feet. And also with his combination punches. Because Shakur Stevenson is a volume puncher. He does throw multiple punches. He is not like a throw one or two punches at a time like uh, Adrian Brunner. So I saw Shakur Stevenson picking his shots right, picking him apart, and it being pretty much a 12-round UD. Maybe a SD if Miguel Burchette is not letting, if he's if Miguel Burchette is cutting the ring off properly, it will be a, a different fight. What Mark was telling me was that Miguel Burchette had the footwork and the skill set to give Shakur Stevenson fits, and he is an avid body puncher, which is true. I did my homework. If Shakur Stevenson stands directly in front of Miguel Burchette, not a good idea. But I do think, and I and I don't take nothing away from Mark's um, opinion of the fight. I think he is spot on with it. I don't think nothing was wrong with it. I'm just saying where I believe Shakur Stevenson is not going to always be there for Miguel Burchette to get off on. And if Miguel Burchette, to Mark's credit, for Miguel Burchette to be successful, he has to do what Mark said, which is cut the ring off, go to the body, which Miguel Burchette does. And also, Miguel Burchette, it has pop. He's a decent puncher, a harder puncher than Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez is a volume puncher. He doesn't jab. He doesn't do none of the technical boxing things that you would expect a boxer to do. He is a typical Mexican style, come forward, wing and ding style boxer. Oscar Valdez is there to be hit. Little to no head movement. He hasn't shown me any type of defensive tactics in his game whatsoever. What I have seen with Miguel Burchette is he does have decent feet to where you could see where he would give Shakur Stevenson problems, where he would push Shakur Stevenson in situations where Shakur Stevenson will have to fight in spots where he may not want to fight. And I do see Miguel Burchette having the skill set, watching his previous three fights where he's shown that he can actually do that. Even though those are against lesser opponents, I'm sure people will argue that, but at the same time, it doesn't take away the fact that Miguel Burchette has demonstrated the skill set to be able to do the things that are necessary to beat a Shakur Stevens. Now, do I believe that Miguel Burchette will beat Shakur Stevenson? No. Do I believe that Miguel Burchette has the technical skill and the prowess and the wherewithal to defeat Shakur Stevenson? Yes. If you think otherwise, you're a damn fool. You're sleeping on Miguel Burchette. But by no means do I think Oscar Valdez could be either one of those guys. Miguel Burchette or Shakur Stevenson. I believe Miguel Burchette is going to sit there and wait for him to try to get off. And Miguel Burchette is going to catch him in between punches. In between his combinations. Because one thing my boxing coach taught me when I was doing boxing is that if you're throwing, you're open. 
And, and, and Miguel Burchett is perfect for fighters that love to stand in front of him and try to go blow for blow with him. And Oscar Valdez is that type of fighter that will literally stand in front of you the whole time. He will not do any lateral side to side movement. He's either going to come forward or come backwards. He says, no, I have not yet to see him show any side to side lateral movement. It's always forward or backwards. And he's throwing punches. I give him that. He come to scrap. But if you come in to fight Miguel Burchette the same, that, that same type of way, Miguel Burchette is going to take you the fuck out. He's going to take you out. The man got pop and he knows how to put his punches together and he's a body puncher. So he'll break you down, get you out of there. So I see if Miguel Burchette makes Shakur Stevenson fights in spots, Constantly going to the body, relentlessly going to the body. Like my man Mark said, Miguel Burchette has good, relentless pressure. He does. And if Shakur Stevenson is not able to minimize that pressure, he's in for a long night, possibly a Miguel Burchette W. But if Shakur Stevenson, if you are able to box your ass off, basically whoop him with your feet more so than your hands, Meaning, you put yourself in a proper position to let your hands go where he can't get off on you. Because that's the only way I see you beating Miguel Burchette. You have to get off and get off the center line. You cannot stay on the center line with Miguel Burchette. He's going to light your ass up all night. But I believe that that silver melodist, Shakur Stevenson, has what it takes to get the job done. I'm going to rock with you to the end, Shakur. But I got Miguel Burchette beating Oscar Valdez all day long. All day long. I don't see Oscar Valdez beating no A-level, A-class fighter. I don't see him doing it. Possibly giving a run to a B-class, B-level. You know, of course, beating a C-level. I see him. I see Oscar Valdez as a B-level fighter. No disrespect to Oscar. Let me be clear about that. I see Oscar Valdez as not a C-class fighter, but more like a B, maybe B-plus fighter, depending on how he looks in his next fight. But right now, I give him a B. Because the average Joe is not finna just beat Oscar Valdez. Let's just be clear about that. But Miguel Burchette, Shakur Stevenson, whooping him. All day and night long. Period. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all was in my shit, man. Follow me on Instagram at DT underscore Boone. Follow me on Twitter at DBoyWSO. Man, you already know who it is. It's your boy. DT3. New media. Notification game. God's what? what it is, man. 100.